All right, guys, so time for another uh, T-Request update uh, from Voji01. He asked me to uh, record my uh, Pocotheria Tigrina Wasseli, the Bustle Tiger ornamental, and the Thrixo Palma Ocrity, the Peru Flame Rump. And it's been a, quite a while since I last done a, some videos on both of those species. So I'll might as well give them an update and uh, see what happens from there. So, I finally got some crickets today, uh, 300 uh, large, around $18. So, uh, yeah, so Tarantula Theme Video 40 will actually film that on Friday because I just call it, called them for subbing on Wednesday and I'm probably going to be staying all day, so we'll wait for that. And I guess people are asking me what do I feed my crickets, so I guess I'll give a little preamble on what I feed them and whatnot. Uh, so, if you notice uh, this one right here, these two piece of uh, nice stuff here that I got from the expo, this is actually uh, cricket feed, gut loaded. So I'm going to put that in after. So this is what I use uh, for crickets. It's a Rubbermaid bin. I, uh, if you guys want to keep large crickets, I really suggest going much more taller than this, probably a brown. Uh, let's see, maybe up to this high because the crickets will jump out. And when I do some feeding videos, um, I have about like four or five that jump out and can never find them. Okay, so here is what I have so far as cricket feed is concerned. Okay, so I don't use any liquid water gel. All I just use is um, a little cotton ball and I put some water in it so the, tea, uh, the crickets won't drown. I have a little uh, piece of soil here so that way they can lay their eggs if I do ever get them to breed I never am successful and this is what I feed them so uh, I'm gonna start putting that cricket food later on when I transfer those 300 crickets so I use dog food dry dog food very high sodium content that's why you need a lot of water um, this is what they especially like uh, lettuce uh, carrots and uh, celery sticks. It's supposed to be really good for them. And yeah, you can see the crickets are actually growing, so that's good. And for hiding places, I recommend uh, egg cartons. That way they hide. I don't have very many. Yeah, most of them all been all been fed to the teas and some crushed. Alright, so that's all done. Okay, so first one we'll do is the Pilcotheria tigrina wasseli, the Wessel Tiger Ornamental. Ah, Pilcotheria tigrina wasseli, right here. Oh gee, pretty soon this week I'm, I'm almost nearly going to have all the attainable pokies. So I have uh, Fasciata, two of them. I've got Miranda, Metallica, uh, Rufalata, Ornana, Safaska Lowland, I'm getting a Highland soon. Um, Formosa, Peter Senai, Striata, Regalis. Phew, wow. And all I'm missing right now is the Hanuma Vila Sunica. Sweet. Okay, so here is my Tigrina Wasseli. Uh, fortunately, you probably may not see her. So this is uh, her setup. It's a um, deli container that used to hold. Um, some candy, so I just emptied it out, drilled a couple holes, and added a little piece of wood. So, maybe she'll be out? Well, who knows? This is actually a pretty unique pokey. Uh, it kind of resembles the um, Formosa, Miranda, and there was another one, the Safaska. So, Unfortunately, she burrowed. All pokey slings do generally burrow, so fortunately, we might not see her very much. Uh, uh, no, I don't see her at all. Oh, that sucks. But I know she's alive and doing well and eating too. Yeah, best not to disturb her. 
All right, so now let's do the Thrixo Palma Ocarty, the Peru Flame Rump. Uh, Trinity, that's her name. I think I have some good names. So if you guys can help me pick up some uh, good names for the uh, Safuska Heinland and the Smithy, that'll be really great. I'm kind of thinking of uh, naming the Safuska Candy because it's called the Candy Highland Ornamental. But I have no idea what to name my Smithy yet. But if you guys can come up with the good names, that'd be greatly appreciated. All right, Thrixo Palma Ocarty, the Peru Flame Rump. Keep this one uh, semi arboreal terrestrial. Uh, she's probably. Where is she? All right, so here's the Thrixo Palma Ocarty, the Peru Flame Rump. Uh, Tarantula Canada is selling. Um, a one and a half inch unsex specimen for $75. So if you remember uh, when I got the Ocarty at the Montreal Expo back in October, it's roughly the same size. And also, um, they are selling a four inch female with a three inch male pair for $175. So I believe I recorded that one when I went to Tarantula Canada. So that's my Ocarty, and I don't know if it looks like. No, not in pre molt yet. But uh, she's certainly a hair kicker. Uh, maximum size will get up to having a 4 to 5 inch leg span. Uh, these are kind of greenish and grayish colors with a red abdomen. That's why they call them the flame rump. And these are super hair kickers, so I'll give you a demonstration if I can find my. Um, paintbrush. Okay, so these are a very skittish species, so you really don't want to handle them. And we'll see how she acts. Just want to spread her out a bit. Come on, sweetie. Ah, there she is. <laughs> really something. So you can see the greenness in her legs. Kind of appears bluish on the camera. And the red abdomen. That's why they call them the flame rump. Pretty sweet. So that's all I have the updates for you guys. So um, if you ever request an update, just let me know and I'll go right ahead and film it. So uh, peace out guys and I uh, hope you have a nice day.